Hello everyone, my name is Toma or Photo Tom here on YouTube. Uh, today I want to talk about a question that over the years popped a lot. So a few years ago I received this question and because from that moment on lots of other people asked me that question, I decided that maybe it's time to do a video about it and let you know <laughs> about, about this thing. So the question was how can I advance my landscape photography? What, basically, what is the thing that I can do in order for my landscape photos to improve? And I have to admit that the first time that I received this question it was about, I don't know, maybe five years ago or four years ago. So when I received this question for the first time, I started to think um, in a way that now I don't I don't think it, it was the right answer first I started to tell people oh well if you want to advance your landscape photography then you need to study composition more study editing more know your gear uh, learn um, how to uh, how to uh, do photography what are the principles uh, the technical things and that is I think because the way I was thinking about photography at that moment in my career as a full-time landscape photographer. Now, over the years, uh, I, as I told you, I received this question again and again and again. I'm, I'm not getting this question every day, but from time to time this question appears. So, right now I don't think that was the correct answer because photography in lots of, uh, in lots of uh, moments doesn't fit with certain rules that you're learning. So uh, there are all sorts of composition rules that you can uh, break and the photo still looks good. All sorts of other uh, technical things that you can break and the photo looks good. Also the editing that you would have learned to do five years ago, maybe today is a little bit changed because of visual trends and how um, how the, the landscape is portrayed by big photographer so there are lots of factors that will continue to change and yes you can uh, you can also go with an answer like you can always learn and keep learning and uh, uh, keep uh, pushing yourself to to the limit but again it's a vague answer and I, today i think this is the answer and I know maybe five years from now I will look at this video and I'll say no no uh, the answer is another one but today I think that the answer to this question what can I do to advance my landscape photography so my answer is to get outside your comfort zone and the minute you'll get outside the comfort zone you'll be exposed to 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 a multitude of situation and um, nature elements that will blow your mind. And this is something that I've noticed whenever I'm going to photograph in a new location. For example, when I went for the first time in the Dolomite Mountains, I was blown away about, about the landscape. Uh, the way those mountains look, it, it was truly impressive. I've never been to Norway, but in just seven days from uh, when you see this video, I will be in Norway in the Lofoten Islands and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be blown away by, by that landscape also. I'll spend two weeks there and I'll try to photograph and it's hard to get outside your comfort zone. If you're just thinking about Norway you have to change um, at least two airplanes to get to the Lofoten Islands. It depends from where, where are you coming from but you have to change at least two airplanes to get there. Uh, you have to deal with cold, you have to deal with unknown uh, territory if you want. But this thing, the, the idea, the concept that you are there into unknown territory for you can really sharpen your senses. I mean, the way you start to let the landscape influence your photos, it's such an interesting Thing to observe and I think I strongly believe right now that if you want to improve your photography 
you have to go outside your comfort zone and this may be outside your town in the forests outside your town this may be hiking in the mountains this may be going to a foreign country this may be going to another continent it's such an interesting experience that will shape you and this this uh, this act that you will do to expose yourself to so many different elements that you are used to this will bring i think the best uh, the, the best photos out of you and i think it will help you define a new style and the style that make me maybe will stick with you so correct me if i'm wrong in uh, comments below maybe subscribe to this youtube channel just to follow me along and uh yeah, I hope the, the videos from Norway will come soon, but there will be another two more weeks. I have to get back. I don't know if I managed to edit something there, but keep on photographing is the only way to get better. Subscribe and comment below with what you think about this short video.